Hello, this is Bob Joyner, and in this video we're going to be talking about TC2000 Scan, and I am an affiliate for TC2000 because I've been using it every day for over 10 years. So before I start talking about the scans and what you can do inside of TC2000, I want to issue a, like a two-week challenge. Either you're looking at this because you're looking for a better way to scan the market, you're not pleased with your current scanners, or maybe you're a beginning user for TC2000. Either way, this video is going to be helpful for you. What I encourage you to do is go to the description box below this video. You'll see my affiliate link, and you can do a two-week free download there for TC2000 and you can actually play around with all the things I'm going to be talking about in this video but first what I would say is watch the video see if it sounds interesting to you get a general idea of how the scans work and then download the software if you're not currently using it do the two-week trial may take some of the trade ideas that you're currently using and maybe your current scanner and see if you find that the scans inside TC2000 are more powerful and adaptable than what you're currently using I don't know because I don't know what you're currently using, right? But what I'm saying is do the two-week challenge. Take it for a spin. It's not going to cost you anything. I encourage you to do that and then see if you like it for yourself. In this video, we're going to be concentrating on how to develop scans or screeners, as some people call them, for finding stocks that meet certain criteria that you have. It all begins with an idea, and that idea is translated into a watch list. And then from that watch list, you can scan based on various criteria to zero in onto the exact type of stock that you're interested in trading. Now you can do this, of course, as long as you're using TC2000. You can do this with stocks, ETFs, indices, uh, Forex, okay, just to name a few things. Uh, and you can use all these different scans. And I'll show you examples in this video of different ways that I use and different scans that I've created. So just to kind of tease you a little bit, we can go over to a, a watch list and a scan that I've created. Uh, this I call my Ichimoku bull watch list. And you can see down the bottom tells me I have this scan divided up into three different time sectors. I have dark green candles for the weekly scan, uh, a daily scan for the lighter green. And then the very light green is based on uh, the one hour scan. So I've got these different criteria on my chart and you can see the different things that are plotted over here on the far right on this little chart. But all these cri criteria I developed on this chart on the far right I have planted over here in this scan that updates regularly for me so that I can go in and I can quickly see which stocks are bullish. So I can look at that list and I can see well, for example by sector that obviously right now the energy sector is very bullish but I have all sorts of criteria that I can place on this criteria that I use for finding stocks to trade so that's just kind of give you a tease of what one of the things you can do okay but I want to go back and I want to show you from the get-go you know how do you start so let's start with the basic chart let's add two different moving averages for example to this chart so I'm going to come down here to the indicators and I'm looking at moving averages and I'm going to do two different exponential moving averages and add that to the chart. I'm going to use first off a 50 moving average and then I'm going to add and I'm going to plot that one with a blue line at 20. Now what if I want to say I want to see all the stocks on the S&P 500 where the 20 EMA is below the 50 EMA on this two minute chart. But I can go in here and I can let's say click on this indicator that I've placed on the chart and I can say that I want to create a condition. And the condition that I want to create the properties over here I want to see the exponential moving average is below the exponential moving average of 50. So we're having a bearish day on Friday let's say I want to scan for stocks that are where the 20 is below the 50 and I'm scanning that for now. I can change that setting where it says true there. I can change that to where I can say show me all the stocks in the S&P 500 that uh, two bars ago, that five bars ago, whatever met this criteria. For this one I'm going to do just plot it as a now and I'm going to apply that. I'm going to name it first off. I can save it here by clicking that. I can also just click apply and I'm going to apply this to an item in the layout which means I can add that anywhere on this current layout that I have. I'm going to add it to this window over here where the S&P 500 is. I'm going to add that column and then what that does is it gives me all the stocks in the S&P 500 where the 20 is below the 50 on that two minute chart and edit that column. So what that does is it gives me the whole list of the S&P 500 stocks 
and let's just pick one here, ATVI, but indeed the 20 moving average on the 2 minute chart is less than the 50 on all these that I've just scanned. I can click the top of that column and reverse scan it and also find all the stocks in the S&P 500 where that is not the case. So I can right click on here, copy all these flag stocks to a new personal watch list and then that would give me that list of stocks. Now I can add conditions and let's say I want to add a fundamental value and let's go with latest net profit margin and so I can simply click that and it's automatically going to give me the latest profit margin on all those stocks that met that criteria reverse that and see the ones that are down I can sort based on the fundamentals such as that and add that to that watch list and I simply did that by going up here and adding a value and then choosing from this whole list of things that I want up here in that I have things that are pre-built different uh, like volume five-day surge that I can use I have my items which are different indicators that I've created I can do basic indicators that you see here today's volume for example today's volume buzz look at indicators and plot any of those indicators so there's a whole lot that I can put on that list in order to create a watch list that's also a scan and then scan for stocks that meet certain criteria you can also instead of starting with the chart you can go up here to the top and you can say easy scan so for example I can uh, look at my conditions that I have posted down here and I can use any of those scans that I've created I can also create a new condition by there and this is where we can get into PCF formulas which are personal criteria formulas which I'll get to in a minute okay so now that we've covered the basics of how to create those scans and how to create those watch lists let me show you something that's a little bit more involved so everything starts first off for me always with a chart I have charts uh, built for different time frames for different types of stocks etc I can create this chart based on those indicators now once I have those and once I have some theories and ideas in mind about stocks that I want to search for then I can take those indicators and I can apply those settings over here and create scans or screens that will show me only the stocks that meet certain criteria so for example on the scan that's in front of you here I have a list of uh, over 600 stocks and also have it divided into three time frames so over on the far left the dark green candles are weekly indicators daily indicators and then one hour indicators so that allows me to see contextually how a stock is moving um, so for example oxy you know we look at the energy stocks in here and we see that energy stocks overall have a bullish context in terms of weekly and daily but on the one hour chart they are seeing a little bit of pullback and that can be an opportunity for buying so I can plot all those different indicators on this chart and what that means is that then I can go into this whole master list of charts the stock list I've created and I can scan based on these criteria without having to look at every single chart without having to flip through 600 and something charts to find one that I want I can look for certain criteria and zero down into that to find a separate watch list so for example I could look at all these energy stocks but let's say that I wanted to take all the energy stocks that are on this list that are bullish so I could say go ahead and right click and I'm going to say I want to flag all the stocks uh, that are below this item so you can see the blue check marks showing up over here on this far flag column is what that's called and I want to go down to the bottom of the energy sector I'm going to right click and unflag everything below this item I can also right click and say copy those flag stocks 36 energy stocks to a new personal watch list but on this one what I want to do is I want to go to the watch list go to my personal watch list so I'm going to open up that watch list and I could sort this watch list just based on the current criteria that are on here based on percentage change so let's say that I want to see what was the biggest energy loser stock today that still met those bullish criteria and that would be MTDR that moved down six percent the idea is that I can slice and dice the market based on ideas I have for trading the only limitation really is what can you conceive what can you think of what patterns do you see how can you take a list cut it down that so that you're only looking at a small group of stocks that meet a certain range of criteria 
that gives you a watch list. That watch list then becomes a list that you can refer to if you're day trading or if you're swing trading, whatever, that you can go and then that you can manage and sort through and find the ones that are currently qualified. Another approach to doing scans is what TC2000 calls PCFs. That stands for Personal Criteria Formula. And I've given you an example here on this board. So I'm not going to go into great detail. You can actually Google PCF formula and put in the formula that you're looking for and see if there's already one developed. You can also go to the PCF glossary and learn how to create that language yourself. It's not very difficult. The one that I've got on the screen here is a formula for saying, let's say that I want to find all the stocks in the S&P 500 that have seven one-hour candles in a row. So in this formula here, the C stands for the close. So the close of day one is the way that reads. Close of day one is less than the previous close. So I'm going to copy this formula that I've written down. And then I'm going to go to my TC2000 chart. And this is a weekly, daily, one-hour chart of the SPY that you're looking at. And I'm going to go up here to where it says new. In the top left corner, you'll see new. And I'm going to do a new condition, PCF formula there. And I'm just going to paste that right in there. So I'm going to write down seven candle lower low. Save. And I'm going to go in here and scan this in a new one. It's automatically come over to the NASDAQ. But I mentioned S&P 500, right? So I'm going to go here and change the list that I'm looking at. And I'm going to go up here to the S&P 500. And this is going to tell me that I have 25 stocks currently, if you can make that out. 25 stocks in the S&P 500 that have had lower low candles, but that's for the day. So what I want to look at is I want to change that to the hourly. Let's go to the hourly. And now it's automatically doing that scan that quickly. And it's showing me that there are six stocks currently in the S&P 500 that have had one hour candles. And those one hour candles are going to show up here on the right here as I look at this. And some pretty big names, as you can see. AMD has had seven one hour candles that were lower lows. RCL seven candles down in the one hour chart of lower lows. Tesla has also had seven candles at least of lower lows. And then of course I can also add other conditions if I want to. And that's real simply how you do a PCF formula. Okay, now that we've looked at the PCF scans and how to create those, I want to mention one thing real quick, and then I'm going to show you some examples of my own scans in the market. Um, depending on which plan you have with TC2000, you may have to use this checkbox next to your scans where it says check to scan, and then you can set the rate at which you want that scan to occur, whether it's real time or just every hour, depending on if you're a swing trader, for example, or a day trader. So now let's go ahead and look at some scans that I've created in the market and just show you some examples of things that you can get done. So for example, I showed you my bull watch list, Ichimoku. This is the bear watch list. And the idea here is that I've created a list of about 650 stocks that are optionable and I have placed those and they meet other criteria based on volume, that sort of thing. So those check marks represent 10 different indicators based on this chart over here on the far right that I've created. And it gives me a weekly, daily, and one hour scan of those indicators. You can also scan the Forex market. So I use this scan, for example, to look at currency strengths and weaknesses. You can see that the Aussie and the New Zealand dollar are both very weak in here. And the US dollar down here at the bottom is very strong. So you can create those comparisons on the fly of strength and weakness in the currency market. You can look at ETFs. I've got an ETF scan over here next to a chart. So I can quickly look at the bears and bulls on the ETFs and also do a sector watch. Okay, and find out which sectors are currently the strongest in the market. I can do stocks such as pre-market and post-market scans. And I use this, for example, for the day trading chat room to create a list of stocks that we look at each morning. And then, of course, I'll winnow that list down quite a bit before we actually start trading in the morning session. This is a scan I use for the afternoon spy chat room. And on this one, the green check marks confirm the conditional colored candles that I have on the chart in real time on the one minute chart, to, you know, give me an objective read on what, what the trend is. I've given you some examples. I've shown you how to do it. Take the two week challenge. There's a link in the description box beneath this video where you can go and you can do the two week challenge download, play around with this thing and see what you might be able to create. It's a pretty exciting software and it doesn't cost you anything for try it for two weeks. There are two different basic plans. There's the goal 
gold and the platinum. If you're doing day trading scans and that sort of thing, real time scans, then you probably want to do the platinum. If you're just swing trading and you're looking for some basic stuff, then you get a lot of capabilities just with the gold plan. Here are some other videos on my YouTube channel related just to TC2000. Um, I have a two video series on the conditional colored candles, which I've mentioned briefly in this video. There's also an overview of the whole system of TC2000. If you get into TC2000 or you're already subscribed to it, you might want to check out those videos. And of course, if you like this video, please hit the button, like it, uh, ring the bell to subscribe, and so you'll be notified of future videos. And thanks for watching. Here's some other videos that you might want to link to.